All that salt water that makes up our ocean? It doesn't actually contain any salt. Which seems ridiculous, but it's true. And the reason why is crucial to how our planet works. Welcome to Minute Earth. Salts are chemical compounds made up of positively and negatively charged particles called ions, like sodium and chloride, which make up the salt crystals we're most familiar with. But salts generally can't exist in water, at least not for long. That's because water molecules have a negatively charged end and a positively charged end, making them work like tiny magnets that tear the salt's positive and negative ions apart. That's what's happening when you dissolve a bit of table salt in a cup of water. Even though we'd call what's in the cup salt water, there's no salt in it, just ions. And the concentration of those ions is what we're really talking about when we measure the salinity of water. If you added lots more salt to your cup, you'd reach a point where there would be so many ions that they'd bump into each other and recrystallize faster than the water molecules could tear them apart, causing actual salt crystals to start piling up. That recrystallization occasionally occurs in nature, like in the Dead Sea, where ions are constantly being washed into the ever-evaporating lake with nowhere to go. But in the ocean, even though ions are constantly being added, from volcanic activity above and below the ocean, river discharge, and dissolving seabed sediments, there's not only way more water around to dilute those ions, ions are also constantly getting removed. Some end up on land, some are taken up by sea life to do stuff like build shells, and lots get absorbed by hydrothermal vents and incorporated into Earth's crust. As a result, the overall concentration of ions in the ocean, its salinity, has remained pretty constant over time. And those ions help keep our oceans humming along. As seawater at the poles freezes into ice, ions get left behind in the water, increasing its density. That water sinks below less ion-rich, less dense water, which in turn pulls in warm seawater all the way from the equator to take its place. This exchange moves nutrients and oxygen all around the world and helps warm the poles and cool the equator. But as the planet warms and the polar ice caps melt, the ion concentration in the water at the poles has started to drop. So far, the change has been small, but continued changes in ion concentration could stop the ocean's water exchange altogether. Marine life as we know it would cease to exist. The poles and the equator would become uninhabitable, and hurricanes would feed off all that equatorial heat, morphing into superstorms. If we want to avoid this apocalyptic scenario, perhaps we should take our planet's safety with a grain of salt and keep an eye on its ions. <laughs>